Hello YouTube friends, welcome to the Red Parrot Channel. I'm your host, Mary Ellen. This is an episode of Trovember, which is hosted by Kelly at collagelab.com. If you want to play along, uh, you can sign up at her website and the daily prompts are completely and totally free. Today's prompt, which is day eight, is that looks like a four, not a seven. Sorry, I'm gonna have to keep you in suspense while I fix the seven. Uh, what is it? It's pattern, pattern. So add a pattern. Uh, so where are we here? Let's have a look at what we have wrought so far. So I did a little bit more, um, uh, what do I want to say? Darkening of the shadows and the letters, just to see if I can get it a little bit more obvious that there are words there. Now my thought today is that I am going to add the pattern somehow that enhances or changes or something the lettering. That's my thought. That's as far as I have thought. <laughs> there is tea and uh, having a sip of tea is always a sign of, hmm, I don't entirely know what to do next. So let's have a wee rest. So one of the things that I could do is do the center. I could do like this C and that F or that S and that E. E, okay, that's as far as I got. So let's see what we have for pattern paper. And surely I have pattern paper. Oh, ooh. So we have this. This is a medieval mirage paper. It would go real. So the E would be easy enough to do because straight lines. And S would be really hard. So let's do the E first. I'm going to use the, I'm going to say the rickety edge. You know what I mean. Uh, 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 uh. Let's take that little bit off. I really don't think I'm doing this right. I mean, I said that yesterday and upon reflection, uh, I really don't think I have done this right. And what do I think that I have done wrong? I think I have made it, um, I don't want to say complicated because it's, it's like everybody else has got like, it's very plain. It's very, it looks like this with a little bit here and a little bit there and a schmudge over here and a schmudge over there. And I feel like I have <laughs> attacked this with, I don't know, a fire hose. I don't know what that is. Something is making a noise. I think whoever named the uh, I'm trying to, S-I-R-I as the name, um, didn't think it through because there are a lot of words that have S-I-R-I as a sound in it. One of which I use a lot, which is seriously. And so I was talking and I just um, sort of upset my phone. So we'll kind of do that. 
Yeah, so back to me not, it's like everybody is super, I don't know. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be, I don't know. So, what do I want to do? I want to take a, get rid of that blob. There. And I need to get... that cut out. And that is super small. So there. And I need to take a little bit off the top. And I could stop there, I suppose. I'm going to go with, I'm probably not going to stop there. I'm going to go, oh, no. I was going to say I'm going to glue this, but I just, everything else has been, I've used this everywhere else, so I might as well keep using it. Oops. Oops. Oh, Don't press down because you want to move it. So I've had a bit of a break from my other November project, which is um, creating an advent calendar with shaker cards. And I am pausing because I need a bit of a rethink. And that's what the pause is about. Okay, 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 okay. So you can go there. And we're going to take that line off. Oops. There we are. And I feel like I need to take a little bit more off. Where that moved. Oops. Oh dear, that's going to be too small. Nope, that's much better. glue, paste, or whatever this stuff is, matte medium, that's what it is, it's matte medium, there we are, okay, cap back on, um, So where is the edge here? There it is. Come on. I'm still thinking about the um, the Google eyes and how that might be still the finishing touch for this. We'll see where where we get to by the end of all this. I think I should peel some of the sticky stuff off. Ah, I feel like that peeling is um, satisfying to both do and watch in a weird way. Come on. There we are. And it goes 
is right around there, just like that. And then we need this one. And we're going to have to glue with that line, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, you know what? We are just going to... Cut it. Oh, that is pretty. I don't think right way to that way. That way is better. There. And I guess we can cover this. Well, we're going to. There's the E. Oh, that's interesting how that happened. So I could do both E's. This one is a, I believe the phrase is a whack ton easier because there's no obstruction. Well, you can always cut this off. So I don't have enough bits left, or do I? I could probably use that edge. Or should I do the S? The S might be more collage-y. I have a thought. I don't have a thought. So I'm going to see if I can scrape enough of the bottom crayon onto the paper. <gasps> Sorry. To get the right shape. And look at that. Would ya, would ya, would ya. 
So that is like a perfect match. Well, as perfect as it needs to be. Is it that way? Yes, it has to be that way. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Well, that is super fun to know that. And maybe that's why we're, why I'm messing around like I am. That's just not quite the right angle. I want something nicer. Oops, did I cut it the wrong way? Cut it the wrong way. Oh well. Oops. Nope. Wait. Hang on. There we are. Good enough. Um. Can we do that? Um, what do I want to do? Well, I want to keep going. Let's try that. Put that one in. There. That. No. It would have been a whole lot easier and much less time had I just said, you know what, I'm just going to splodge down something. But anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Absolutely anything. All right. Now this can have. Maybe that can just do that. Oh dear. There. Can I get rid of these bits? Do need some more of this stuff. Oops. There. Hmm. Okay, so we need to turn this around a bit, I think. that what about there yep we can do that I feel like I should just use my finger it's 
be more efficient. Um, and so that's kind of what I want to do. So that is one. That's two. And that's kind of three. Oh, that's way better. I think the bone folder is not precise enough. It's too broad, but if you use something that's got something more refined in it, you'll get a better, better tracing line. So there's one. There's two, and that's just going to fit generally like that. Eh, good enough. Good enough. Nope, we're going to keep using my finger. Where does this go? This goes like that. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, that was a lot of pattern. And I need to cover this because I covered the other one. Okay. I think there's a, a school of thought of let's not overthink it. I think there's an equal and opposite school of which I probably <laughs> belong to, which is let's not underthink it either. And I think I'm doing a lot of underthinking. Okay, well, let's put it right way around and see what we have wrought. So that's what we wrought. We put in a pattern. <laughs> you can barely see. And that blue on the E really makes it disappear, but that's okay. I don't know if you can see self-care any better. Probably not. Uh, yep, yeah, doing a, it's like a final scan of the image and I think we are generally okay probably not allowed to go back over our previous days either but oh well there okay so we are done for today um
um, that was day eight at a pattern. And I added a, um, uh, what do we call this paper? Uh, there's a proper name for it. It's not fancy Italian. It is fancy Italian, um, but it's fancy paper. Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you uh, for joining me on this journey. We have no idea where we are going to end up, but um, uh, join me. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Bye now.